Now we are going to solve the sum 3 divided by 3 divided 1 by 5. This is a whole number and this is a fraction. Let's solve the sum. For sum 3 divided by 3 divided 1 by 5. That is 3 is a whole number and 1 by 5 is a what? Fraction. It is a proper fraction. So first step I have told you. First you have to make the whole number as a fraction. There is no denominator. So you have to consider 1, one as a denominator or assume 1 as a denominator. So 3 divided by 1 and division here 1 by 5. So 1 by 5. This is the dividend and this is the divisor. So next step 3 by 1. So I have to uh, find the what? A divisor as a reciprocal of the divisor. So find the reciprocal of the divisor that is 5 by 1. 1 by 5 becomes 5 by 1. So answer is 3 into 5 15. 1 into 1 1. The answer is exact answer is 15. Okay. Next sum. 6 divided by 1 by 2. So it's a whole number and a proper fraction. Division. So in between what is the sign is given? Division. 6 divided by 1 by 2. So 6 is 6 become as a what? Fraction. 6 divided by 1. So division 1 by 2. So this 6 divided by 1, 6 is a what? Whole number. After that step 1 you have to make the whole number as a fraction. So I have to write 6 by 1. There is no denominator. You have to assume 1 as a denominator. So 6 divided by 1 divided by 1 by 2. Next 6 divided by 1 into what you are going to do 1 by 2 is a divisor you have to make it as you have to find the what reciprocal of the divisor reciprocal of the divisor this divisor becomes a reciprocal so 2 divided by 1 so 6 into 2 12 and 1 divided by 1 into 1 you can get 1 so 12 divided by 1 12 so 6 divided by 1 divided by 1 by 2. This is the divisor and this is the what? Dividend. So you have to make this divisor as a reciprocal. So 1 by 2 that means if you write uh, if you if you if you what? If you write multiplication sign if you uh, apply multiplication sign or if you write the multiplication multiplication sign this divisor become as a reciprocal of the divisor. That is 1 by 2 becomes what? 2 by 1 this upside down you have to write 2 by 1. This is a reciprocal of the divisor. The step 3, you have to multiply the what? Um, dividend and the reciprocal of the divisor. That is 6 by 1 into 2 by 1. So 6 into 2, you can get 12. And 1 into 1, you can get 1. So 12 divided by 1, you can get what? 12 is the answer. So this is the right answer for this question. Third sum. That is 4 divided by 2 by 3. That is 4, you have to write. 4, it is a whole number. Make it as a fraction for step over division 2 by 3. So this is the dividend and this is the divisor. 4 by 1 is a dividend and 2 by 3 is a divisor. So next step 4 by 1 into this divisor become as a reciprocal. That is 3 by 2 upside down you have to write. That is 4 into after that multiply the dividend and the reciprocal of the divisor. Step 3. So 4 into 3 12 and 1 into 2 2. You can get 12 by 2, you can get 6 is the answer. Otherwise, even you can cross the number. So, if you cancel by 2, by 4, you can get 2. 2 into 3, you can get 6. This also you can try. This also you can write. Otherwise, I will write like this. So, 4 by 1 into 3 by 2. I just cross the number. Cross by 2. So 2 2s are 4, 2 into 3 6, 6 by 1 you can get 6 is the answer. The answers both, both answers are same. So this is the right answer for the question. The next fourth sum. 1 divided by what? 1 by 10. So 1 is a whole number. So I have to make it as a first step 1 what? You have to make the whole number as a fraction. So 1 divided by 1 because if you divide by 1 only it becomes as a what fraction. There is no denominator so you have to assume 1 as a denominator right. After that divided by 1 by 10. So it is a dividend in divisor. So 1 divided by 1 into this divisor become as a what reciprocal of the divisor. So 10 by 1 you have to write 1 by 10 and as a upside down. You have to write 1 by 10 as upside down. That means it will become as a reciprocal of the divisor. So 1 into 10 you can get 10. So 1 into 1 you can get 1. So 10 divided by 1 you can get 10 is the 
answer for this question. So, I solved four sums. I think so you understand divisions of fraction. First, we have seen fraction with the whole number here, whole number with the fraction. That's it.